Proverbs 3.30 Do not pick a fight with anyone without a reason. When he has done you no harm. We should not look to try to struggle and try to fight. We should not look to cause problems and develop strife with others. We should try to make peace. Now, through this peace, we should not try to do things we shouldn't do. We should always make peace, but in a way that brings glory to Christ. If our peace rejects Christ, then we don't need peace. Because Christ came to the God. Okay. John ten twenty two through thirty. In the feast of dedication at Jerusalem, many people say this is Hanukkah. My more recent studies and understanding said this is the time frame that the temple was rededicated. Is the temp feast of the temp dedication of the temple, which because the name of Hanukkah would have been established as the name of Hanukkah. And the reason why this isn't celebrated today is because the temple is not there. If the temple was still there, they probably still would have been celebrating this. In fact, they probably still celebrated this until the temple's destruction. Soon after, in about no, no. Soon after John's death, then it was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple of Solomon's porch. Now all the feasts would have been associated with Jerusalem. Now some of them they would have went outside Jerusalem into the desert place and tents. The Feast of Booths and how they celebrated that. But they would come back together in the temple. It's their place of worship. It's the place where they were connected together. They were connected not by what they did for a living, but by their faith. And their faith was a result of being connected in the temple. That was the way the symbol, symbol, symbolic, symbol and symbolic of their faith. So Jesus, it, it shows here that he kept all the festivals. Now, that we aren't under the law, we don't have to do this. But I think it's important to know what the festivals were. And it's interesting. Now, it was winter. This is why many people say it's Hanukkah. But it is times, at times would be the same over no, not really, because they got a different calendar. Times wouldn't even be the same. But would the climate be the same? You got to think, this is written originally in Greek. Was it even the same climate between Greek and Israel? Was winter the same time frame? Probably not. But, plus, for us, winter, we say, well, that's December. It may have not been winter then. We just see winter and say, well, that's Hanukkah. That's the only feast they have during No. It may have been something we don't quite know about. Then the Jews, therefore, came around about him and said to him, unto him, How long dost thou hold us in suspense? If thou art Christ, tell us plainly. So these people, they, these people don't got the faith because they wouldn't have been asking this. So these people at this point, based on their reaction, which we're not going to cover today, they may have been asking this to try to trap them. They may have been, we're getting tired of this Jesus taking these people, doing these things, making a mockery of us. Let's ask him plain forward if he's the Messiah so we can trap him in blasphemy or trap him in the way where Rome could get him. Because the Messiah was, is to be a ruler, is to take the people back to God, is to set up his kingdom in Israel. Seeing how Rome was set up as a kingdom, 
having the Messiah come along could have been a battle of authority, so he would have been in conflict with the Roman government. However, he wasn't setting up this role. He was setting up a role as a spiritual leader. This is something they could not understand. Even Judas may not uh, probably didn't understand it. Some teach that he may have been. And based on what scripture actually says about him feeling pity, uh, you know, I think it might be kind of true that Jesus... And Judas was trying to not fire inside Jesus. But that's a whole other discussion for later. The Jews therefore came round about him and said unto him, How dost thou hold in suspense? Jesus answered and said them, I told you ye believe not the works that I do in my father's name. These bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, and no one shall snatch them up out of my hand. My Father who hath given unto me them unto me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them up out of my Father's hand. I am my father and one. If these people had the faith, they would have accepted Jesus as he was because of what he did. They would have recognized him as God. They would have recognized him as the powerful Messiah that came. But they didn't have the faith. They just wanted to get rid of him.